Jessica Lanyon makes this 1815 gown look extra lovely. This ball gown was a dye fiber experiment. Many fibers and weaves and embellishments are involved to make a challenge, a fun challenge. Jay Renee's beaded flowers and jewelry add otherworldly elegance, fit for a queen, a bride, or a special occasion. <coughs> Carrie steps into the 1870 Fort Wilkins Bustle Day dress. It's a very popular style. Lots of layers, <coughs> ruching, which is gathered trim, and puffs. Through the rest of these gowns, though the rest of these gowns tonight are for fun and beauty, this one is historically accurate. She has hidden in her v-neck collar a lovely necklace by Jay Renee. Becky has created historically accurate garments also for Mackinac Island. <laughs> Here comes Jessica in Becky's faux suede. fringe, Annie Oakley inspired. Yes, there it is. She looks like Annie Oakley herself in this fox fiber cotton faux buckskin. This organic colored dye, uh, cotton is grown that way. No dyes are involved. It's another of those outfits that you can feel good about wearing. The fringe is woven out of fox fiber chenille, and it's really fun to wear. 